Have you put together a, an automatic watering system with drinking cups like this, but uh, you're concerned that your quail can't figure out how to get the water out of them? That's what we're going to address in today's video, so stick around, we'll get right to it. Hey guys, welcome back to another Slightly Redneck video. Again, my name is Chris, and uh, today we're going to talk about a question I get asked all the time, and that's when you put in one of these water cup systems, then how in the world do you get your quail trained to drink from those? It's actually pretty simple. Um, one thing to notice about these, and if you haven't seen these before, I've got other videos on this. This is a pretty dirty one, so excuse me, but this is the way this thing works. You just hook this up to, um, you can hook it up to a container, you can hook it up to a hose, you know, whatever you want to do. I'll show you my system here in just a second, how it's hooked up. And there's a little yellow ball in there. When the uh, quail reach in there to drink on that and they hit that ball, that lets more water out into the cup. And lots of people are concerned because they said, well, I filled it up, the quail drank from it, but they can't figure out how to get more water out of the cup. And I'm going to show you, it's not really that big of a concern. The first thing to know about these is that it's not going to contain water. It's not going to hold water in it all the time. The quail will reach down there to drink that water, let a little water out, drink it, and they, they take their heads out of it. So it's going to pretty much remain dry all the time. And I'll show you what I mean when we get in close to this cage right here. So let me do that real quick. Okay, this is my automatic watering system here, and I've shown this before, but it's got a piece of PVC pipe that I've just uh, connected these water cups to, and it's fed from a five-gallon bucket over there. Uh, but you can see, um, if I look down in here, and you probably can't see that on camera, but there is no water in the bottom of this. It's completely dry. But when I push on that, and maybe you can see that on camera, there it goes, it's filling up with water. And these quail drink out of these cups all the time. Both of these cups, completely dry. But you can watch them, they'll come over and get a drink out of it. And these guys are kind of freaked out right now because I'm in here. But I think they're drinking in the other cage. Let's see if I can get a shot of that. You can see that white one over there. He's taking a drink right now. And hopefully you can see that through the cage wire. If I open this up, he's going to move away. But you can see he's getting plenty of water. He's taking a drink. There he goes. And if we look inside this water cup over here that he was drinking out of, you can probably see... Then, you know, there's a little bit of water in there, but usually there's no water in there whatsoever. They just happen to drink up all that water. To train your quail in these, it's pretty easy. Just uh, when you install these things, just push that little button down, fill that cup up with water, fill that cup up with water, you know, fill them all. There we go. The, the quail will come to these and figure out, oh, there's water in there, and they'll drink it. And as they try to get more out of the bottom, they'll bump that little yellow knob, and it'll let more water into there. And they'll figure it out pretty quick. So, so hopefully that puts your mind at ease a little bit. It's really not a big concern. The biggest thing I think most people are concerned about is that they don't see water in the cup, so they think the quail aren't drinking from it. But again, they just they, they lap it up as quick as it comes out of there. Just fill the cups up, let the quail drink from that, maybe do it two or three times. They'll figure out pretty quick that's where they're going to go to get water, and they train themselves to it pretty fast. Even if you don't see water in the cup, they're still probably drinking from it. It's not a big concern. Um, the, and don't forget, um, I did actually talk to the manufacturer or the uh, company that provides these, Beak Time is the name of them, and I did get a discount code for these water cups, so check the description down below and I'll make sure I put a link to that uh, so you can get that discount on those cups. If you don't have any, go ahead and buy some for yourself. So again, thank you guys for watching. Hopefully this video helped you out a little bit, put your mind at ease, and as always, God bless.